Hello everyone and welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal and in today's edition we're going to continue looking at our transition from Airshow, the now discontinued iOS screen recorder, onto Video and an alternative screen recorder which is still available. So far I've showed you how to download it but I'm now starting to get questions about particular issues. One such issue that's come up a couple of times and has been highlighted by Mystic7 is the following, in that whenever he turns off AirPlay in order to save a recording, he never gets the allow video to access permissions pop-up so that the video is never saved into his camera roll, although it does save the audio. So a great question there, and I'm happy to help you because Mystic7 happens to have 1.3 million subscribers. In terms of screen recording, you've come to the right place. Okay, so let's investigate more what the actual problem is. If you launch video and set up your recording options, which would be to select device audio, iPad microphone, and device screen, and then tap the start button, and just readjust the orientation, so that it's going to record in the correct formats. Come on, thank you. And then if you scroll up, go to AirPlay Mirroring, tap on Rob's iPad, that should start the recording. And we might hear a beep, we might not. But once it starts recording, you'll see a bar at the top. It's asking me to access the microphone. And we can see the red bar at the top, so we know that it's actually recording. If I do some quick swipes, we have something to look at. And then scroll up, tap on Mirroring again and turn off AirPlay Mirroring. If you notice, it's not going to ask me to access my video gallery because it's not actually saved a video. And I can confirm that by going to my photo gallery and there's no new video there, it'll probably be about 20 seconds. If I go into the video application and tap on files, we will see that it has recorded the audio recording, which is about 13 seconds. And if I can play it, That's just me waffling. So, in order to do your actual video recording on video, you have to do the following. And that's to scroll down to the bottom of the settings and tap on keep track files. I think it's probably a mistranslation what, what's going on here. But essentially, once that's ticked to yes, then it will start recording your video as well. So we'll start a new video recording and make sure that it does record the video. Come on, there we go. Go back to our home screen, swipe up, airplay mirroring. We'll start the recording again. Same process as before, we'll hear a beep. Then we'll get the red bar at the top of our home screen to indicate that the recording is taking place. And as usual, I'm just doing some very quick swipes to get something down on my recording. So when we turn off airplay mirroring this time, it should ask me to access my photo gallery. which it does. So that confirms that it now wants to access my photo gallery. Tap OK. Go to the photo gallery. And there we have our 14 second video, which has recorded. And there we are. So that's a quick solution to the problem that Mystique 7 was having. To put this into a little more context, what's recording here is the video, along with the internal sounds of whatever you're recording, and then the actual audio recording that's saved in video is your microphone recording. So that might be game commentary. And you would merge the two files together within the video application. If you want me to show you how to do that, then just pop your comments in the comment section below this video. And I'll put a dedicated tutorial together. But I'm going to try and go through each issue on video piece by piece in order to help you out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Video Gadget Channel for all your iOS screen recording needs. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.